Hello, statisticians, and welcome to 4.2, the least squared regression line on Excel. In our previous video on section 4.1, we looked at how to make a scatter plot for a given set of data, which I've already done here. We see the same data, the size of a home and the selling price of the home in thousands of dollars. We also found out how to calculate the correlation coefficient to see how strong the relationship is between home price and home size. But now in section 4.2, we're going to visualize it by drawing the least squares regression line on this graph. It's really easy to draw the least squared regression line or the line of best fit on the graph. If I click the graph, a little plus sign shows up next to it. Click the plus and we want to add a trend line. That trend line is going to be the line of best fit through the middle of those dots. And now I can use that line to estimate a certain home size, what the price should be of that house. But it helps to have the actual equation. To get the equation off of Excel, I just need to double click the trend line and that's going to open a menu to format the trend line. Scroll down a bit and near the bottom you'll see a checkbox for display equation on chart. Click that checkbox and it displays the equation on the chart. I'm going to close these settings so I can see it better. And here is my equation. My equation is y equals 0.0992x plus 160.19. I could now use that equation to estimate a certain home size. Let's say a home size is 2,800 square feet. So now the price would be equals to 0 0.0992 times the home size plus 160.19. We would estimate a 2,800 square foot house would sell for about $437,950. Hopefully this video was helpful to you in finding the line of best fit least squared regression line for a scatter plot.